Right, hello YouTube. What is up? My name is Quinton and welcome back to my second HTML and CSS tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are finally going to start writing some code. So just go ahead and open up Notepad++ real quick. And if you don't have Notepad++ yet, then uh, check out my previous video and download it. So that you can follow along with the rest of the tutorials. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I just want to save our file as the correct file type. Because if you guys don't save it as an HTML file, then... Uh, your computer is not going to read it as a website and your browser is not going to read it as a website and uh, then your website's not going to work basically uh, so let's just go ahead and click file save as and uh, I'm going to go to my desktop and write here in uh, save as type I'm going to change this to hypertext markup language and uh, just make sure that you choose hypertext markup language and uh, not anything else otherwise you're not saving it as a website and um, then I'm just going to go ahead and name my file index.html and it's probably important that you guys just save your file as index.html as well uh, because and this will probably make a lot more sense later on whenever you guys want to try publish a website or something but uh, whenever you have a home page of a website or whenever you want to tell your server what the home page of your website is you name your file or your the home page of your website index.html uh, that's just so that the um, whenever someone comes to visit your web page they'll go to the home page first which is the index.html file so just go ahead and save that and uh, if I go ahead and take a look on my desktop now I've got this little file here uh, which is my index file and as you can see my computer knows that it's a website because uh, it's now going to use Firefox to open it and that's because Firefox is my default browser so if your guys' default browser is something else then it's going to try open it with Internet Explorer or Chrome or something uh, so just go ahead and double click this and uh, you'll see that we do in fact have a website here but it is completely blank uh, and that's just because our file here in HTML I mean in Notepad++ is completely blank uh, so let's go ahead and start writing in some information for our website real quick. But uh, before we actually start writing some code, I just want to show you guys a couple things. Um, and if you watched my previous video, you probably saw when I showed you guys an example of HTML, you probably saw code that looked a lot like this where you had a word. And uh, let me just go ahead and type this. okay so you probably saw something that looked a lot like this in the previous video where you had like these smaller than and greater than signs and then you had like some word in there and then you had some text in the middle and then you had another um, smaller than and greater than sign with another word in there and a forward slash now that's because HTML is written in these things called tags and uh, these that's what these things are right here this is a tag and this is a tag uh, so let me just go ahead and rename that so it makes a little bit more sense um, tag and tag and uh, as you can see they're not exactly the same either we have what is called an opening tag and then what we have here is a closing tag uh, so the reason why the closing tag is a little bit different it's got this forward slash in there that is just so that the browser knows and that we know that our tag ends here okay because if you ever write like a really long paragraph in HTML and you're gonna have like a whole bunch of text in the middle here then you know okay my paragraph started here and it ended here okay so that's just uh, why we have opening and closing tags um, but then we also have these special tags called sing uh, there are single tags um, so let me just go ahead and show you what a single tag would look like um, and that would just be the same thing smaller than greater than sign with a keyword in the middle uh, and then straight after our keyword we have a forward slash okay now uh, the, uh, this is what a single tag would look like and uh, basically um, there are a few uh, special tags that use a single tag like that which uh, I think image is going to be one of them 
and uh, then we have break and a few others but uh, that's just what a, a single tag looks like and that's what a double tag looks like and uh, you guys are going to need to know that uh, before we move on um, and then again I need to tell you something else and that is that uh, you can't just make up any mumbo jumbo you want here inside your tags you actually have to use a whole bunch of preset tags um, so this here where you see tag that's actually wrong um, an example of a double tag would be like P for paragraph uh, so as you can see whenever I use a real tag it actually uh, notepad plus plus turns the real tag blue and that's because notepad plus plus knows what all the real or the proper HTML tags are and therefore it can turn them blue just so that uh, it, we can see them stand out amongst the rest of our text okay so that paragraph would be an example of a double tag and then I told you image would be an example of a single tag um, but don't worry about this too much now I'll go in depth about these things a little bit later uh, but for now let's just go ahead and start writing our website and the first thing we have to do at the top of every single website that we ever write is we have to declare a doc type and the reason why we do that is just so that uh, we tell Google Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer or any of our other browsers what type of website to be expecting because there's a, a bunch of different versions of HTML so it could be expecting a number of documents um, but just to tell our browser that it should be expecting an HTML5 document because we are using HTML5 uh, because that's just the latest version I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my smaller than and greater than signs and then inside here I'm going to type in exclamation mark and all caps doc type and I'm going to leave a space and in small letters over here or lowercase letters I'm going to type in HTML okay so this just means that we are using an HTML5 document um, it's not very hard to remember that you guys just have to type this in every single time you ever write a website you just have to remember to include that in the top uh, just so that the browser knows what web page to be expecting and uh, then the next thing you have to do is create your website or start writing your website and uh, to tell your browser where your website is going to start and end we use a tag called an HTML tag so that is this thing right here smaller than greater than sign and then HTML and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and end that off right now so forward slash HTML um, and that just means that our website is going to start here and end here and anything in between here is going to be part of our website so uh, there we go we actually have the beginning of our website now what we have to do is uh, we actually have to split our website into two parts because every single website that you have ever been to and every single website that has ever been made uh, is actually made up of these two parts and these two parts are actually called the head so let me just go ahead and make my head tags and then the second part is called the body okay so um, let's just go ahead and make these tags and I'll tell you what they do now inside our head we'll put in all the technical information that our browser needs um, it might not be any information that the, the user is going to see but uh, it's just the information that the browser needs for your website to work uh, you'll see uh, when we start writing our web page our heads actually going to be quite empty but uh, as we start making more advanced websites or better websites you'll see we're actually going to start putting more and more stuff into our head but uh, for now the only thing I'm going to put inside our head is called the title but uh, I'll come back to that now and then in the body uh, that's basically where all of our information that we want the user to see goes so if uh, we have any paragraphs or images and headers and stuff that we want the user to be able to read we'll put that here in the body okay so let me just go ahead back to our head and uh, like I said the one thing that we can put inside our head for now is the title so let me just go ahead and put our title tags in here and uh, 
I'm just going to go ahead and indent that a little bit. You guys can have it all uh, scrunched up on the end like that um, if you want, but I just, uh, and I'm indenting this a little bit so you guys can read it a little bit easier and follow along a little bit easier. Uh, and then the other thing is you guys can have tags on multiple lines if you want, or you can just have them on one line, doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make our title and for the title of our web page I'm just going to write here this is the title uh, exclamation mark uh, just so that you guys you know this is the title uh, anyways and then in the body I'm just going to write some random text here so just go some random oh okay I cannot spell random text and uh, I'll le let's go ahead and save this and now you can see if I minimize this and go back to our, our blank web page that we had saved before and I click the refresh button we now have some content in our website so we've got some random text over here and then at the top here we've got this thing that says this is the title and that's the title of our website so that's all I got for you guys in this lesson um, if you come back in the next tutorial we'll obviously go over making our body a little bit more cool because right now it's quite empty and uh, we'll learn what the paragraph tags are what the header tags are etc so that's what you guys have got to look forward to but for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share my videos